Hey guys, welcome back. So I do have a different setup again. It is temporary. Um, I actually just did the um, collective DMDF reading, which I will be posting on Tuesday, but I figured while I'm at it, I am going to do another reading for you guys. So this is just an extra one, and it will be for the karmic relationship between the Divine Masculine and another person, okay? So it's typically going to be a, um, a romantic partner, a spouse, but it doesn't have to be. We'll see what comes through. Um, I've done a separate one for, specifically that is for a karmic mother, um, where the mother is just um, a barrier in the connection between the DM and the DF. So you can check that out if you want, although it wasn't from a while back, but it could still resonate for you. Um, this one, we'll see what comes through, but I don't have any specific um, relationship in mind, okay? So it could be just about anybody. It could be a sibling, it could be another um, partner, it could be a friend, it could be just a relative, it could be just about anybody and for some of you it definitely could be a situation so just take the messages as they make sense for you now i don't often do these types of videos but i do think that maybe once in a while for some of you it can be helpful um, just to kind of gain a deeper insight into what is going on in that connection and then try to relate it to what is going on with you and what your lessons are but i do feel that for the most part the most helpful thing is to um, really focus on yourself or if you are watching readings to also take into account the messages that are specifically for for you okay for divine feminine so before we get started let me just show you really quickly this doll because it's just so beautiful um, one of my students makes them it's called this one is called the carousel so you can find that at her Etsy shop if you are interested and I do have the link in the description box and Mannix yeah he just wants to be part of this video today hopefully he won't mess things up okay so with all of that said let's get into the reading keep in mind again it is general so it's not going to be for everybody just take it if it resonates also if you want a personal reading that information is in the, in the description box as well all right, so let's get started. Let's see what is going on between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic Partner. I just saw the Lust card, but I don't know. Let's see. All right, we have Broken Heart. So I'm taking this to mean that there is definitely some arguing between the two of them, or there's definitely been some kind of a fallout already, actually. All right, just had Sylvia jump up on the table and they're all the cats are interested in the doll <laughs> okay hold on guys one sec because she's just going to okay you can sit here sit here okay all right so let's see what else So we also have refocus and we have family. So it could be that this is a connection where they do have a family together or it is a family member and maybe there are different situations that are happening and different events that are happening um, within the family unit, especially if it's a relative that is, um, I feel is just really shaking things up really shaking things up here because with broken heart there's definitely been some kind of a fallout and there is a refocusing of their energy or of the direction that they were initially um, taking within this connection okay so for some of them i'm getting a specific message for those of them that do have a family together so if this is a couple like if they're married um, it seems to be that the focus right now, they're refocusing from what is going on between the two of them and refocusing possibly on the family or, or on the children and what is going on there and how this fallout or this, it, it does feel like a breakup, almost like, okay, we know this is done. Like there's just no continuing on and we need to just focus on what we're gonna do with the family situation, okay? So just take that message if it resonates um, or apply it to, to your situation. Okay, so let's 
let's get into the tarot. We're going to look at each of their energies. So I'm starting with the Divine Masculine. So they're all in reverse. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and we also have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this is just the masculine's general energy, okay, as it pertains to, to the situation. And there's a feeling of, of defeat, of there not being victory. I feel like there has been an effort from the masculine side for this connection to work out, and there's this sense of giving up. Okay, the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is giving up, knowing that, you know, this cannot be a success. Okay, and this is because, well, there is no love here anymore, or this, if there was a family, it just doesn't even feel like a family anymore. And that could even be part of this um, family refocus, that it just does not feel like a family anymore, and it's just not, not working out at all. And there is pain. There is pain, okay, with this broken heart here. There is definitely pain associated to this, but this is what is happening here. This masculine knows that this cannot work out. They feel a sense of defeat when it comes to success for this connection here, and so there is this sense of giving up. And with this Nine of Wands, this is also somebody who has tried a lot. Um, this person is feeling wounded. This person is feeling, the masculine is feeling exhausted by all the effort that they've made to make this a success. And for a lot of them, this may have to do with um, societal expectations of them as well. Like, what, what does it mean to be successful? Well, you know, having a family, having a successful marriage, or a successful relationship, or having status, or any of those things. And this is something that they're realizing they have to let go. This is something that needs to be released because, well, it's just not not bringing them victory um, or success. So let's see a little bit more specifically their um, energy towards, towards their karmic partner. Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, as well as the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so they're all in reverse except for the Two of Wands. Yeah, again, again, with the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot, all three of these being in reverse, this is, again, this is like giving up. This is not putting any more time or effort or energy into this connection. So right now, this masculine, I feel is even... Um, Pulling back, not even really communicating here with the Eight of Wands. So they might be coming off as a bit quiet to the karmic partner, just really avoiding, I feel, avoiding conflict and just not not really doing much, not really taking action either way. I feel like, yeah, they are processing this pain and I don't necessarily feel that the pain is towards their karmic partner so much as it is for um, them feeling like they have failed at something, okay? Um, and definitely there's this, there's, there's this holding back, all right, with the two of wands here. They're holding back from communicating how they're feeling to the karmic partner at the moment. There's a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating, trying to decide wh what, what should I say? How should I deal with this? What direction should I take? And so I feel like at the moment this masculine is a little bit at a standstill when it comes to fully communicating to the karmic partner what it is that, that they're feeling, but they're feeling that it's just done, all right, there's a break. And I do sense, because this is actually the mutual energy, that the um, karmic partner is also feeling this as well. So let's, I don't, I don't feel like clarifying anything at the moment. 
So let's just see what is going on with the with the karmic partner in this particular group. And we might clarify afterwards. We're also going to take a look at what is coming up. have the seven of wands in reverse the seven of swords and the chariot for them as well also in reverse so I feel like actually for the most part both of them are kind of in the same energy this karmic partner is also um, avoiding conflict not really um, setting any boundaries I feel like she this person she or he is feeling a bit vulnerable and doesn't have their defenses up either so they're not going against anything it it's coming through as kind of trying to escape anything that's going to instigate um, any conflict here. And so again, the chariot in reverse. And it's like just not wanting to change anything. I feel like there's this sense of being very cautious, just keep things as they are so that nothing is provoked, so that things don't get out of hand, and so that we can just avoid any kind of conflict. Let's see what else. in reverse the moon and the king of swords in reverse I don't know now you can't see them at all <laughs> but you have a very beautiful view here of Mannix um, okay so again they're in a very similar energy I feel like the the divine masculine and the karmic partner they're kind of mirroring each other because the the karmic partner is also has the sense of carrying a burden feeling exhausted but i feel also not willing to let it go at the same time okay and the reason why is because there's a lot of fear there's a lot of fear possibly of the unknown and because of that it's also that this particular karmic partner i don't know if maybe this person in the past was a little bit um, critical or maybe a little bit strict or just you know really wanting things their own way at the moment they're really putting their sword down okay just kind of allowing things to just go with the flow kind of like wanting to just move along with the flow of the masculine again so as to not provoke any kind of action argument or something that is going to make the um, masculine pull away. So I, I feel like there's a lot of fear here. A lot of fear um, from the karmic person's side. So let's actually clarify a couple of these. See for the masculine, let's clarify that two of wands. Alright, we have the Ace of Wands, which showed up in reverse, and we have Justice. Okay, so there is this, there's a lot of um, thinking about what is the right way to go here. I need to make a decision, possibly even divorce if they are married. This is something that they are definitely contemplating about, um, but just not really taking action on it at the moment. And I, again, I feel like they're not really communicating it just yet. But this is definitely something that they are um, thinking about pretty intently here. So it, it will be interesting to see what is coming up in the near future. To see if there will be any action taken on these thoughts because they seem to be very, very, um, very strong here. Okay, like everything is pointing to the direction of giving up, 
not giving any energy, not giving any effort, not doing anything though about it, just sitting there, not talking about it, just not doing anything. Almost like, you know, just even refocusing away from the situation possibly for some of them. Um, let's see for the, for the karmic partner. Let me clarify this moon. And we have the world in reverse. So yeah, there's this fear of the connection ending. They don't want this to end. Okay, very, very plain, very simple, um, to the point here. And I do get that for... For this group, there are still some lessons that are being learned. There are still some cycles that need to close out between the two of them. I do feel like they are on that path. And right now it feels like it's it's kind of like processing the lessons. It's almost like, okay, like having like this little pause between the two of them. They're not moving forward in their connection, but they're not, they're also not putting an end to it at the moment. And that's because they are processing some of these lessons that have already been learned. And this is just kind of like a resting stage before moving to the next step. So let's actually see what this seems to be moving towards. So let's look at the, um, the energy for the Divine Masculine in the near future for this group. Right, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. They're still carrying this sense of not fully they feel like something hasn't been closed out as well, okay, coming up in the near future with justice being here in reverse. There is something that they feel they need to make right here when it comes to, possibly for a lot of them, it could be for finances, or if it's not finances, it could be a um, some kind of a practical issue that needs to that needs to resolve, that something needs to kind of come into some, some balance or something that needs to be made right before they can release this burden of this connection. So I might clarify to see what that, what that might be about for some of you. Let's see, let me clarify just this whole row. Quite a bit here we have the page of pentacles in reverse the queen of wands the six of wands and the ace of pentacles showing up again okay so a specific message just for those of them that might have children all right they feel like something is not yet figured out and they're trying to figure out a solution or how to fix things and make things workable when it comes to Two children, okay? That's not going to be for all of you because I know they don't all have children. They're not all married. Um, what what they're thinking here is that they really want to be successful when it comes to whatever those practical issues are. So this particular masculine is deeply thinking about all the practical issues that may arise should they separate from this karmic partner. Okay, there's a lot of that though. It's not just to a small degree. It's not just, okay, kind of thinking about it. No, it's really trying to figure this out. Okay, because we also have the Queen of Wands here. This is someone who's going after this, going after what they are thinking and what they are planning. And it does feel like it is a plan that is coming together also with that two of wands. And this is actually going to be a very, very practical plan. And I actually see, I don't see much fear here on the side of the masculine. This is not somebody who has fear at the moment. If there was any fear, I feel like they are over that. It's just that they want, they're having this pause. 
to really process the fact that you know what like there's this is just done like I cannot I cannot have this ton of cups in reverse in my life anymore um, there's a sense of giving up so there's no point in even continuing in any way shape or form with this connection this is why we have the chariot in in reverse which is that refocusing on their energy and I do feel that they are refocusing their energy for a lot of them as I said if they have children to family or possibly for some of them even to other people that are involved so it could even be family from the karmic partner side and there might be some kind of a um, loose end that needs to be tied up okay so for each of them it's going to be a little bit different but it's something along those lines for this group here they're really trying to tie up loose ends when it comes to practical issues practical obligations those kinds of things and they are being very very assertive when it comes to that they're very confident in themselves now coming up in the near future that they can actually achieve that and open up a new path for themselves and find a new way of being able to make things work something here it just feels like this person really wants to make things fair and i know for a lot of you it's going to feel like well they weren't fair towards me <clears throat> okay well you know everybody's situation is different this is just what's going on with them when it comes to this particular situation. Okay, um, now what their energy is towards you, that's a different story. We might just pull a few cards for that. Um, so let's see. The near future energy for the karmic partner. And we'll also take a look at their mutual energies. one card at the moment and it is the knight of cups so it does look like the um, karmic partner once the masculine begins to kind of <clears throat> express this energy more openly that they're trying to find a plan trying to figure things out trying to tie up loose ends the karmic partner is going to try to either sweet talk the masculine or to just really try to come in more lovingly um, basically just trying to offer them affection let's see what else the wheel of fortune in reverse and the ace of wands yeah they don't want things to change um, the karmic partner does not want things to turn in a new direction. So at the moment, like I said, they're being very quiet. They're just kind of going with the flow, trying not to instigate things. But um, once the masculine begins to really show that, you know, they're moving things in a direction of ending this connection, the, um, the karmic partner is going to try to really come in in a sweet way because they don't want things to, to change. Okay, um, even with the Ace of Wands, this could even be um, sexual in nature, trying to just, you know, seduce them. I'm not saying that's bad, I'm not judging it. It's not bad, nor good, it's just what it is. All right, and they, <clears throat> there's a reason for it. All right, there's a reason why the karmic partner would um, act in this way, regardless of what judgments other people put on this, no matter what, you know, the Divine Feminine, will think of this there is a reason for it the karmic partner is playing a role for this connection there are things that you are learning because of them and there are things that they are learning because of you okay and it's the same for the masculine the masculine is also playing a role for the karmic partner as well okay there's a lesson in this for everybody <clears throat> or an experience in this for everybody so let's take a look at what is going on between the two of them mutually. I, I wish I had another deck, but I don't. Um, so actually, let me get a normal card. Let's just see the energy between the two of them. All right, we have Angel of Balance. And we also have strategy at the bottom of the deck, which I find very interesting because that's what I've been talking about um, 
for the masculine and then also for the karmic partner this is a this is a form of a strategy right trying to keep things from changing by coming in as this this knight of cups here okay so with angel of balance though this is telling me that yes things need to find a balance this is all about karma and lessons that are being learned okay and this is why certain things are playing out in the way that they are um, this is why the two of them are still together at the moment because there are still lessons and karma that needs to be balanced and from what I can tell it does feel like things are moving in that direction okay um, I know we have justice in reverse here but that's just because the masculine needs to close that out that balance is in the process of coming to be they also had justice upright okay so that's two times justice and then the angel of balance between the two of them suggesting that yes this balance is being achieved it's just that sometimes it can take a little bit of time so yeah so let's just get a couple oracle cards to close this out um, I feel like it was kind of general, so to be honest with you guys, I feel like this might be for just for um, the majority of the collective or just a big part of the collective, so it didn't feel like it got really specific into any particular subgroup. Um, so I might do I might do another one, I might do a couple more in the within the next week or two. We have chop wood. This is exactly what, what I've been talking about throughout this whole reading, all right? So within this connection, okay, the divine masculine and a third party um, or a karmic partner. And again, let me just say real quick that there is karma between the divine feminine and the divine masculine as well. Like the two of you are also karmic partners in a sense. Okay, we, this is just a term that we use just to kind of differentiate somebody else from the divine soulmate connection, okay? Um, so chop wood, this is what I've been talking about. These are all the little things being done in order to tie up the loose ends, all right? The masculines are chopping the wood right now, doing the work that needs to be done in order to have a practical plan ready in order for this to work on a um, practical level when it comes to releasing the karmic partner, all right? Um, they're chopping their wood, basically. So let me just get one more. Okay, and we have the full moon in Libra. What am I telling you guys? Justice, there it is showing up again, right? These karmic lessons are being learned. The karmic cycles are being closed out, okay? There's just a little way to go again. And it says a win-win outcome is forecast. So yes, it will be a win-win. This is what the masculine is trying to do, all right? Chopping that wood in order for it to be a win-win situation. Um, for everybody here that is involved within this connection, okay? Whether there are other family members or other people involved, um, other than just the karmic partner, okay? They're trying to make things so that it can be practical for everybody. So, yeah, um, I did say that I might get a couple cards for their energy towards their feminine. Um, so, yeah, let me actually do that real quick. Just any message from the masculine to their divine feminine if this resonated for you. So we have the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups, and we have the Empress, which did show up in reverse. And the Emperor. Okay, wow. So definitely this is the message from the Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminine. They feel that you are um, a Divine couple, okay?
okay with the um, emperor as well as the emperor showing up. I feel like the empress is in reverse because the masculine here with the page of cups and the five of cups is feeling very regretful for the fact that they have kept you in this position, okay? That the fact that they do not have you in their lives, all right? And they are somewhere else at the moment, okay? This is their, their higher self here, the message. They are feeling very apologetic. Not only that, they're feeling very deep emotions for you and just feeling a lot of guilt and a lot of remorse for the situation. I'm also getting that this, this masculine is feeling um, sorry and guilty for also not having been more expressive about how they feel towards you, okay, when they have the opportunity to do so. All right, that is it, guys. Um, I'm leaving it at that, and I thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.